We are going to execute a runnable with an executor. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Master Coding Channel on the Complete Android Developer Course. Uh, we will continue with the executors. At first, I will remove the submit because I don't need the new runnable. And I will create a new class that is going to, to get fetch the data uh, from, the, uh, from the retrofit and then store it to the live data. So in this video, we are going to learn how to store data in the live data uh, and uh, retrieve REST API uh, by runnable class. Okay, first of all, we create a private class, retrieve movies, runnable, and implements runnable. And I will implement the only one method that we are going and should uh, use, uh, which is run, okay? Uh, I have uh, missed this because I need to make it a new class and oops implement the method which is the run okay so in this method we or this class we are going to retrieve the data from rest api by runnable class and remember we have two types of queries the id search query and the search movie query so back to our the movie db we have the movie and slash movie ID and if we click on type uh, try it we need a required API and movie ID in order to get the requests so this is the ID and if we want for the for any uh, movie we need to search by using the latest or uh, we use by the get API remember guys if we go back to the APIs or the uh, interface that we have in the retrofit that we have created, we see there there is a query. So let me go and show you what I'm talking about. Here we have a query. So I have searched for uh, Jack Reacher, which this search is called query. So I need to put the query API key and the uh, page. And in search, in search movies, we can get by uh, the ID. So private and page page number and i will make a boolean here for canceling the requests okay what i'm doing here i'm making a query a string and and page number for searching uh, for uh, displaying results in the, in the page or the page number according to page number and i will create now the constructor and canceling request by default equal to false Okay, this way we have set it, it correctly. Now, retrieve the movies uh, runnable uh, in, on run method will require some attention from you. Guys, we are going to search method or query making it in the runnable because it will go and display it and make it in the background thread. So I'm making a call here. I have an error. Maybe I have imported the wrong page, the wrong uh, package. Okay, it is here. I will delete it and import the call for retrofit two. Okay. Now getting the movie and here we have done it before so remember we need to make an api the search query and the page number the search query here string and the page number will be end as parameters and i will start it here return return service service dot get movie api dot search movie and according to the string credential dot api we have seen this in the in the previous videos but now we are going to move all queries to our runnable that and uh, done by executors in order to do these search queries in the background thread so uh back done background thread and displayed it uh, or uh, send them the data into live data and then live data passed it to the activity okay now changing to i think it is 
page number, not the string, okay? Okay, I remove it. Goes an integer. Page number. Okay. So. What, uh, what we are going to do here. Let me check the credential, the jack, the string, which is the jack creature and the query and the page number. We close this. Until now we have searched for query, get movies, exactly like we uh, have done before. But now, as I told you, we are moving everything, every request to the uh, background threads using the executors and the, the movie API client. On canceling request, we need to display that uh, canceling request for uh, log, log, cancel request, true. Okay, we are setting the boolean to true. And everything is working fine. Now let's get the response objects and the response uh, body from uh, the internet and using retrofit, of course. So uh, response, response, and then import it and get movies. We need to uh, pass the arguments, the query and the page number and execute and add the catch close. And If cancel request, if I will cut it from here and paste it. If response dot code equal equal to two hundred, so the HTTP request has been successfully put the data into a list of type movie model. Okay. This is what I am doing. I am getting the data and put it into a list. We have done it before. Um, guys, if you want all documentations or uh, all the lists and all of uh, lessons and written lessons, you can download master coding uh, application from uh, Play Store. Uh, we have a uh, rating 4.7 from over about uh, from over uh, 22,000 people and we have about uh, 800,000 downloads. So we have helped over 1 million people to learn coding. Rate us 5 stars in Udemy. We are upgrading this course. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get daily tutorials and their daily uh, lessons. Okay. Now I am going to send the data to live data. It's very important. And this is the first time we are going to send the data to live data, get the data and set it to live data. We have two type of methods, the post value used for background thread and the uh, set value not for background thread. We are going to use the post method, okay? And we have list movie view mod, uh, movie model, and we are going to create a current list and current list to add, add all the list objects. Okay. And again, we are going to post the value. Post the value will means adding these values to the live data. Okay. And if there is no connection or if the response code is not 200 make a string error response dot error body dot string and look uh, the the errors here uh, and display it into the log cat and again movies dot post value equal to null okay this is how we have done the movie api client and make and executing the runnable with the executors now the last step is making a making a global 
runnable or runnable request okay here I will make make a runnable request and private retrieve move is runnable retrieve move is runnable object and in the search movies API I will make it move is runnable does not equal to null put it to null so and I will make the arguments here and the parameters for search movies API for query and in num and page number and retrieve movies runnable new retrie new retrieve movies runnable and I will make the query pass the query and pass the page number the last thing is submitting the retrieve movies till now we have finished the execute executing the the data or executing a runnable with an executor thank you guys i hope you are safe from corona and you rate us five stars on udemy subscribe to our youtube channel so you give us forward making new tutorials see you later see you later